Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's been the legal backbone of tragic and highly publicized cases, those of which we know as Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, and Tamir Rice. And his work on the front lines for social reform have helped push conversations about race and le legislation forward in this country. And he continues pushing the powers that be as host of the hit TV One series, Evidence of Innocence. Yes. Let's take a look. It happened when um, we were doing the cleaning detail. I was on bathroom duty that day with other girls. And they said that I thought that I was Miss Goody Two Shoes because I didn't talk to a lot of people and that they were going to show me what happened to people that hurt kids. Mm. Mm. My, my, my. Please welcome the amazing and my brother, Benjamin Crump. Yes. How are you? I'm well. Thank you all so much for having me. And, and let me say right from the beginning, Quad, I want to thank you and Sister Circle uh, for Shakisha Clemens, who I represent, who was assaulted, battered, slammed, disrobed in the Waffle House in Alabama. Mm. And because of you, I mean, it went viral, the video mm. that you did on the segment of Sister Circle. Yes. Hundreds of thousands of people outside of Alabama got to see what happened to this young black woman. Absolutely. And it reminded me of what Malcolm X said, Selena, the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. And mm. never was that more evident than in that video. Mm. And because of you all, I think hundreds of thousands of people that would have never known wow. about this tragedy. So, so thank you, Kwai. Absolutely. Thank you, Absolutely. Selena. Absolutely. 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 And, and this, this is what this platform is all about. Yes. It's, it's about highlighting, you know, some of the things that, that, that are not going so well for us as an African-American community and definitely not for our country. Absolutely. Um, but we also celebrate great things as well, yeah. you know, and we want to yeah. highlight when we're doing amazing things in our community. I think sometimes yeah. it's kind of washed away yeah. and we don't really see a lot of that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but it was my pleasure. Yeah, and, and I'm glad that we were able to, to, to help and, and assist in that. And, and speaking of injustices, um, let's go back to February 26, 2012, mm. um, Trayvon Martin. Yes, um, obviously, you took this case on. But what I want to know is who you were, well, who you are now as a man, as a father, as well as a lawyer, before, as opposed to who you were before mm -hmm. you took this case on. Certainly. Uh, my personal hero is Thurgood Marshall. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've always wanted to be like Thurgood Marshall and try to help my people. So before I took Trayvon's case, I was already doing that type of work, and that's mm -hmm. how his family knew to contact me because so many times young black people, especially young black men, would be killed and it would be swept under the rug. Mm -hmm. Nobody would mm -hmm. even talk about their names. And so one of the things I kept doing is saying, Trayvon Martin, life mattered, mm -hmm. and we're not going to let you sweep it under the rug. Can you imagine your child walking home from I the 7-Eleven, minding his own, own business, business, and the neighborhood watch volunteer, I'm not talking about the police, right. the neighborhood watch volunteer, a private citizen, profile pursue and shot him in the heart. And the police let him go home and sleep in his bed that night. Yeah. That was the story of Trayvon Martin. And before we got involved, it was going to be swept under the rug and nobody would have said a word about it. So, you know, it's uh, incredible that it became the number one news story in the entire world. Mm -hmm. Something that had never been done regarding the loss of a black child. So it was a lot of uh, accomplishments. His mother and father has yeah. started the Trayvon Martin Foundation. Mm -hmm. I know the documentary that Jay-Z is producing is coming out uh, at next month. And so many things have happened yeah. in the interest of saying our children's lives matter right? because yeah. of right. the legacy of Trayvon Martin. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Well, I got to just tell you, um, you've done a phenomenal job in your career. Yeah. You really have. But unfortunately, you're still met um, with some results that you're not always wanting. You're, you're not winning all of the cases. And what do you think the, tri the contributing factor is? Well, certainly, let, let me make sure I explain, Kwasi. So, whether it's Trayvon Martin, Michael Bryan, mm -hmm. and Ferguson, Tamir Rice, well, we won all our cases on the civil, civil side. side. I'm yeah, the civil absolutely. lawyer. I, I, you know, all we can do as a private lawyer is raise awareness and get compensation for the families. And we've prevailed on every case yes. we've ever done. But it's the prosecutors, uh, the elected officials, the DAs, remember, from high school civics, they're the only ones who can prosecute you and put you in jail, mm -hmm. take away your liberty. Mm -hmm. So it's 
just unbelievable how when it's our children, mm -hmm. they can convict us with no evidence of all, right. hence evidence of innocence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when it's us laying down on the ground dead as victims, then the police, they can never hold accountable. So that's why midterm elections mm -hmm. and local elections mm -hmm. are so important because it's these local DAs who send our children to jail as part of the school to prison pipeline, but they don't hold anybody accountable for taking our lives. Mm -hmm. And so we have to vote because our children's lives matter. And yes. if we don't stand up for our children, if we don't speak up for our children, if we don't fight for our children, we can't expect anybody else to do it for us. Yeah, absolutely and not. And You're speaking right. of right. speaking up for our children, um, you have a, a, a TV series, Evidence of Innocence, which I think is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to get awareness out there. What can viewers expect from innocence of, uh, uh, Evidence of Innocence? Yes. Yeah, I'm so grateful to TV One and executive producer Rashawn McDonough for allowing me to have this platform. Mm -hmm. because evidence of innocence is different from the legal crime reenactment genres that you see out mm -hmm. on TV today, like, uh, you know, forensic files mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. SNAP, the first 48 that yeah. define justice as locking them up, throw away the key. Mm -hmm. But evidence of innocence defines justice quite as actually searching for the truth, mm -hmm. Selena, getting people out of jail. Mm -hmm. And these are people who are in prison for 10, 20, 30 years, completely innocent, mm. didn't do anything. And uh, unfortunately, 100,000 people, they believe in American prisons are completely innocent, unfortunately, mostly black people. Mm. Wow. Well, listen, it is always a pleasure to have you. We want to thank you so much for thank being you here. Thank you so much. My God, listen, um, for everything that has happened in our country, if we did not have people like you, we wouldn't be. We wouldn't be seen at all, nor heard. God bless you. Yes. Thank you. We'll be back. Yes.